Welcome back to Between Bells, everybody. Reality TV star Kristen Cavallari is launching a new clean skincare line called Uncommon Beauty. The line consists of five products, including eye cream and a foaming powder cleanser. Here to tell us more about it is Kristen Cavallari herself. Kristen, welcome to the show. You have so many fans here at Cheddar. Thank you for your time. I have to ask, okay. what was Of course. So you're, you have your hands in so many different projects. You've had that going on for years now. But what was the moment that you realized you wanted to get into clean beauty? Yeah, well, one of the number one questions that I've always gotten from fans and just people in general has been, what is my skincare routine? So about a year ago, my team and I decided to do a deep dive into the products that I was using at the time. And I thought I was using, you know, high-end products that were relatively clean. Sent them off to our now lab only to find out that they're in fact not clean at all. And it really made me do a ton of research and really start looking into this clean beauty space. And, you know, ultimately you can say you're a clean makeup line, clean skincare line, whatever it is. And in fact, you're sort of not, at least not according to my standards. So I felt like there was a need to launch a skincare line that was in fact clean, yet still really effective. So here we have our five core products, like you mentioned. I feel as though these five products are the base of, every, of, of everybody's skincare routine, what you need on a daily basis. I love that because so many of my friends, while makeup is fun, most of us do are more concerned about skincare than makeup. So this is perfect timing. Tell us about the different products. Yeah, so uh, like you said, we have our daily foaming powder cleanser, which this product is awesome because it's a powder so you can control the consistency of it. So it can either be a really deep exfoliator or a gentle cleanser. Then we have our daily water cream, which is our daily moisture. Moisturizer. And this product, I mean, I have all of them in front of me. It's really hard to see over Zoom, but it's almost like a water gel. It's the perfect hydration. This is the one product I would say that when people are like, what did you do to your skin? It's glowing. This is what gives you that glow because it's just such incredible hydration. And I'm really prone to breakouts and moisturizer has always made me nervous to load on my face, but this I can load on, never clogs my pores. Then we have uh, my favorite product if I had to choose one, which is our pineapple peptide nectar. This is essentially two in one because it's peptides and vitamin C in one. We don't call it a serum, although it does all the same things as a serum, but we call it a nectar because to achieve that serum consistency that you and I are probably used to, you have to add all of those filler ingredients, which of course I didn't want to do. So it's light, it's beautiful, it absorbs into the skin, lovely, it smells great. I'm not huge on, on scent, on fragrance and skin products, but I felt as though it was appropriate here. It is synthetic free fragrance. Um, it's just light and fresh. And if I only had to do one, I would do this because it's, it's brightening, it's anti-aging, it's hydrating, it's everything you want in a serum. Then we have our triple effect eye cream, just a really thick, luxurious eye cream, because as we get older, I would argue that is the most important step in the beauty routine. And then we have a lip balm, a mango lip balm, nothing groundbreaking here, but it is a big chunky stick and it's just light, it's hydrating, it's not greasy or gross, your hair won't get caught in it or any of that gross stuff. So I, I love this. <laughs> what was the process developing these clean products, Kristen? It was a ton of fun and I've learned a lot. Our lab, they're based in Miami and they really handheld me the entire way. And really they, they taught me a lot. And um, they were the ones who actually introduced us to the vitamin C that we use is from the Australian Kakadu Plum, which is really concentrated with vitamin C. I had no idea what that was, but they came to us with some of these really cool exotic ingredients that I jumped all over. Um, and in fact, pre Uncommon Beauty, I was using a um, peptide gel and a vitamin C serum. And they were the ones who told me, you know, if you actually combine the two, they actually, how, how they react together, it's more beneficial for your skin. So, you know, my hat's off to my lab. I obviously couldn't have done it without them. And they really, they, they taught me a lot. Um, so it was a fun process. I'd say the one product that had the most revisions was the eye cream because I kept saying, I like it, but I want it thicker. I want it thicker. And they finally said, Kristen, we can't make it thicker unless you start adding, you know, the silicones, the petroleums, you know, all of the, the parabens of the world. And again, did not want to do that. And I will say where we've landed on the eye cream, I'm so thankful to the lab and so, so excited about it because it is really thick and it is really amazing. And I've noticed the difference with this eye cream is I'll put it on, you know, when I'm washing my face and everything at night. And then if I touch my skin up here before I go to bed, I can still feel it as though it's absorbed into my skin where wow. prior to Uncommon Beauty, I felt as though products would almost like roll off of your skin. So these, I've really noticed a difference. I've thrown 
on out all of my other products. And now I also have peace of mind at night in the morning when I'm using these that I know I'm actually doing a good thing for my skin. Yeah, Kristen, I use a lot of high-end products too, and you're right, I don't get those results. So I definitely have to try your stuff. I do want to talk about the first trailer of season two of The Hills New Beginnings. What was it like reuniting with everybody? It was so much fun. And, you know, I only did one episode, but I'm so happy that I did. It was like a little reunion. And, you know, for once, the drama wasn't about me. I could just kind of <laughs> kick back, relax, and, and hear everything else that was going on. And then I got to leave. So it was great. <laughs> can you tell us very quickly what fans can expect, though? I know you only did one episode. Any secrets? Yeah, I mean, you know, I would love to say that I went on and dropped bombs and then was like, peace out. I didn't, you know, it was more, I was being there with Audrina and Heidi, who I've maintained a very good friendship with and hearing what was going on in their worlds and being a support system more than anything and catching up with Brody. I know there's rumors right now that Brody and I kissed. I hate to break it to you. We did not. So <laughs> if you're tuning in for that, you will be sorely disappointed. <laughs> I didn't, um, I didn't go and, you know, drop any bombs, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, well, we will I'm be watching. Up. I will get my hands on your skincare. I'm so excited. I'm obsessed with clean skincare. Kristen Cavallari, thank you so much for joining us. You have so many fans here at Cheddar again. Thank you.